What's up guys, how are you? Dustin here, and we are looking at three big piles of junk. That's right. You've seen the video here on this car. This is one of my first videos, so I'll probably do an update video of what's going on here. This is Haley's Comet. This is my 2005 Subaru Legacy GT. And we won this at the salvage auction a couple years back for a whopping $650. This car is a 2.5 liter intercooled turbo and it's got some mods on it. And for $650, it's really fast and a lot of fun. Uh, well, not super fast, but it's quick and a lot of fun. I enjoy it a lot. So that's a really cool car there. Um, recently, we picked up this one here. This is just a regular old 2009 Subaru Legacy uh, 2.5i. Nothing special, base model, non-turbo, uh, manual car. We're actually in the process of getting this one back together. We bought this for $800. Um, the body's a lot nicer. It does have some light hail. Has 120,000 miles on it. Interior is really nice. Has new tires, that sort of thing. We got this one for so cheap because it didn't have a key. Uh, so they couldn't prove that it was a run and drive. Now we did get a key made for the car and found out that the head gaskets at the very minimum are blown. And when we put water into the radiator, it actually pours out the exhaust on this car. So. Pretty common for Subarus to have head gasket problems, but I feel like this car was drove with the head gasket problem and might have ruined the engine. So as opposed to taking it all apart and trying to machine it and figure it out, that's where this car comes in. This is a 2008 Subaru Legacy 2.5i. Also, same engine, same manual transmission, everything as that car there. Now the front of this car is wrecked pretty bad, but the rear is not, and the rear suspension needs to go on this car because this car got wrecked not too long ago and uh we kind of got this car back together but it's still off a little bit so we got to replace some trailing arms and stuff and uh so we're going to use the rear suspension off of this car and put it on the gt uh the gt's engine runs great even though it has 212,000 miles on it this thing runs perfect. I'm actually thinking about getting it uh, tuned on E85 and doing some really crazy stuff with this. This is actually going to be a track car. Uh, I don't really drive this car anymore. It's uh, basically just going to be for, for track purposes and for fun. So anyway, that's what's going to happen with that. That's getting parts from the back of this. This car over here is getting the engine out of this car. This one had about 120,000 miles on it when it was wrecked. And they couldn't prove it was a run and drive either. And I'm hoping we didn't damage any part of the engine, but uh, yeah, the radiator supports here. And the engine, the head for the engine starts about here. I think we might have pushed into the timing cover a little bit. Uh, definitely broke the power steering pump. Uh, we bought this one for $200, so honestly, the parts out of this one, uh, the cost of all this all together. So $200 was the winning bid on this, but after auction fees and taxes and going and picking it up in Denver, we got about 650 bucks into it, but that's still, for the parts we're gonna be pulling out of this car, that's still worthwhile. Uh, like I said, the engine was pretty low mileage, has the same transmission. We might actually do a five-speed swap out of this car and put it into the GT over here because the GT has the, the five-speed automatic, which is a pretty good tranny, but with 212,000 miles and about to get more horsepower, I don't know how long that automatic's gonna last. All the cars have you know, good tires on them. They all have the matching rims, so we could really just interchange them. Uh, here we go. Yeah, look at this. Those are like brand new. Same with this one over here. So, we got plenty of tires. Uh, the doors and stuff on this wrecked one are pretty nice. The interior's not too bad other than the airbags went off. These base model black seats will probably be going in the GT because I think we're gonna gut the interior on that car give you kind of a this car was not bad looking before it got wrecked really hard um, this one over here I think it's gonna turn out to be a pretty nice car even with the light hail damage on it we'll kind of see what we can do with this thing I'm gonna try to cut the front end off here uh, and pull all this away so we can see if there's any damage to like the timing cover or anything on this little boxer engine here so that's the plan we're going to cut that away and then we're going to have lots of updates on this car because like i said uh this is the turbo one and it uh it's a pretty quick car i think we're going to be doing some crazy exhaust up out of the hood here and uh some performance parts and probably an, an ethanol ed5 tune on it and uh make it way more fun because why not it'd be a really cool track car but anyway here's my pile of junk subaru legacies 
give you guys a shot of what's going on there and I'm gonna get working on taking this one apart. Well guys, kind of what I thought and feared a little bit did happen. Um, this front apron piece, which is part of the unibody frame, got bent in towards the engine. And it did make contact with the timing cover. That's the very front part of this engine on these cars, which is just a plastic cover here. Did contact that and crack it. Uh, but looking down there, you know, well, I don't think it hit the actual timing pulley if it did it just barely hit it um and the timing belt and everything didn't break i don't see any abrasions on it so it doesn't look like it was running or if it was running boy i don't know that doesn't look too bad it's about as worse as i'd want to see it any any much further um and we could have camshaft damage and that sort of thing and we really don't want that on the engine that we were trying to save in this car so that's the worst part so far i'm gonna cut this all off and see what else we can find in there separate that front section it's also going to make pulling the engine way easier <laughs> literally nothing in the way uh, looks like the manifold survived yeah this is all exterior shielding heat shielding it's not even dented in so that's a good sign that's our header piece coming down there right, here's our, our valve covers for our head this is just a single cam 2.5 liter uh, it's not really a very special motor and these were known for blowing head gaskets and all kinds of weird stuff but this one doesn't look like it was really in that bad a condition all right we got some more stuff off here kind of chiseled away at everything made sure the timing belt didn't break looks good all these accessories actually still turn they had some plastic pushed up against them so that's all good there. Obviously no coolant in it. Uh, I did put two quarts of engine oil in it and it is now touching the dipstick. So it wasn't completely shot. This battery seems to have power to it. I hooked it up and it sparked. And let's see if it starts. Let's see if it runs, why not? I think I got all the debris out of the way. Shouldn't hurt it, I don't think. It's got oil in it. Now we're not gonna go drive it because it doesn't have any coolant obviously, but we can we can see if it fires up. Uh, like I said, most cars might get in an accident with airbag deployment. They shut off the fuel pump or something, but let's see. Oh, all right, gauge sweep. Air 55. That's got more miles on it than what they said. That's okay. Let's see if it starts. Got a little exhaust leak. But no exhaust coming out of the radiator hoses, so hopefully the head gasket's good. Yeah. Somewhere around that, somewhere around that collector, we got a little bit of an exhaust leak, but uh, the engine actually sounds pretty good. Wow! All right, I didn't expect that, guys. Like I said, we just paid two hundred dollars for this very wrecked car. Revs up. Let's see if it moves. Oh yeah. 
reverse. Forward. Cool. We're gonna shut her down, guys, because it doesn't have any cool in it. A couple a little 30 seconds there, it's not gonna hurt it. I'll give you guys an update on everything that's going on here. I got a shop update coming soon about a huge project we got going on inside there. So all kinds of crazy updates coming, guys. Lots of new videos in the future and some really cool builds coming up too. I think you guys are going to enjoy some of the stuff I'm going to be doing. So please hit that subscribe button, like this video, and drop a comment down below. That helps us out so much. God bless you guys. We'll see you next time.